All right. Um, the goal of this video is to test the uh, Iwata LPH80 with 1.0 mm tip. And I think uh, this is the E2 air cup. Um, this one requires 1.8 uh, CFM. And our uh, compressor is rated at 3.3 uh, 3 at 90 PSI. So at, at 30 PSI, it should give about, uh, I would say, 3.9 CFM. So in paper, that should be enough for this uh, spray gun. I have uh, painted a lot of stuff uh, growing up. I've tried uh, enamel. Uh, latex, a varnish, lacquer, but I haven't tried uh, painting uh, using a spray gun, especially the automa uh, automotive uh, paint that we are going to use today. This is, uh, we're going to use the single stage, meaning we don't need to uh, do a top coat. So we just uh, spray once. Or, or twice and that should that should be uh, good to go all right so a quick uh, rundown, rundown how to set up the uh, spray gun um, this guy has an NPS and the regulator of course it requires an NPS meaning to say it's a straight not tapered I've tried uh, other brands but it doesn't work Although they have the same thread, uh, NPS, it's just uh, continued to leak uh, air. Simply because the product I was talking about was the Bilbis regulator. Uh, the internal diameter I learned is uh, different. So I ended up uh, going for this guy, which is made by the same company. Um, and um, based on my testing, it's, it works perfectly. So at the end, at the other end, it's gonna be straight again. But this guy, my filter, is tapered. Uh, it's one for the NPD, so I had to do a converter. Some other guys uh, will force to fit uh, NPS here, but that would be uh, messy. That would require a lot of Teflon tape, and might you might end up damaging your thread. So I uh, had this uh, adapter, so basically convert from NPS to NPT. The other end of the filter is uh, NPT and this one is NPT, so that should be good to go. All right, let's tighten this up. We want this on this side so it, it doesn't get in the way. Mm, that that should be enough. And here as well. Maybe I need the bigger one. should be good uh, next step is to mix this paint with the hardener this is uh, the the mixing ratio is uh, four to one four parts of this guy and one part of this for that we're going to use the uh, mixing cup this is you know uh, it saves a lot of time and it's a lot easier to use this to mix it accurately so this is I got this for I think 10 bucks and they give you 12 cups so <clears throat> um, all right this you should pl uh, plug it here well uh, we'll mix the paint and then we'll come back
the spray pattern and also the required uh, inlet uh, pressure which is about 13 psi this is the second test piece Good. Let's see that. Let's put it here. Let it dry. So <coughs> this is the uh, this is the second test piece. Uh, I prepped this with a uh, eight hundred grit uh, sandpaper. And I found it a little bit uh, aggressive. I made a mistake here. See that? It went. I uh, sanded all the way down to the uh, shell. So what we're going to do is um, I blow this a little bit, and this part, the non-block uh, parts, just a thin coat, and then. Uh, after that, we'll proceed with another coat. So we don't want to cover in the entire thing with one uh, uh, coat because if you do that, what will happen is uh, this side will be shinier or duller than the uh, black parts. So again, just uh, blow some, some paint here and here and there. Uh, no uh, primer because there is a uh, paint already so just yes, uh, proceed straight to our paint disaster okay
Okay, uh, we're going for the, uh, uh, the, the first real code. So there was an accident early on. So this one, basically the, uh, the helmet fell over. This one touched the uh, box. I sanded this down. Just a little bit to make it the surface even. Alright, I think there's another spot on the other side that I did the same thing as well because it touched the box. That's fine. Alright, let's go for the first cut.
All right, um, this is the finished uh, product after uh, two, two and a half coats. I put back, I of course, I removed the uh, tapes. Uh, I put back the face shield and the, you know, the cushions. As you can see, uh, the uh, texture, uh, can, you, can you try to focus? I'm very happy with the, the orange peeling. Um, I think it's uh, it turned out really really good as far as the uh, the texture the evenness of the paint although I did not prime this it, if you can see here I don't know if the camera can catch that um, it's not it's not even because I, I uh, sanded the paint all the way down to the shell and it shows like uh, uh some une unevenness there all right um maybe if you're painting uh i did this for testing the my compressor and the uh, spray gun if you want to paint your helmet really good you might uh, search more what would be the best paint for the helmet because i tried to do that i couldn't find any so I ended up using this uh, the uh, automatic automotive paint. I don't want to go back uh, go to the big big box store because uh, most of the time those products don't really <laughs> work well. So I tried to use what the pros uh, use. Um, yeah, uh, show you more. See that. Well, this is again my first time trying a spray gun. And I'm very happy with the outcome. All right, so, so just uh, for you out there who's uh, beginning to uh, spray paint, uh, I, uh, Gunman, if you go to YouTube, he gave me a lot of uh, inputs on how to get started um, I would like to share my uh, experience with you because I've been debate uh, can you show this I've been debating whether to get the uh, 1.2 or 1.0 or even uh, smaller than that I, I was talking about the tip the thing is uh, for painting helmets or small stuff or even the wheels motorcycles or, or car wheels you i would say for me uh, the 1.0 would be uh, perfect the reason being is is uh, it's not uh, the fan the fan it makes it's not too big it's not too small and at the same time you get enough uh, paint to go through the tip uh, because here um i uh, after 90, 90 minutes of painting I uh, started clogging the tip so the smaller the tip you have the more I would say you would tr struggle uh, for this guy the Iwata uh, LPH 80 is really really uh, good all right and um, and also if you have a small compressor this is a uh, perfect I don't think you can buy any other uh, uh, spray gun out there that can work with uh, a 2.7 gallon compressor. What's that? Oh, maybe 2.6. Uh, I there is another one which is the uh, the Bilbis SRI uh, Pro Light that takes about 3.5. My uh, compressor may be may be small for that. But for this guy, I'm okay. Although it's running, my compressor can run for up to 30 minutes before uh, uh, letting it rest because uh, according to the manufacturer, it cannot go 100% uh, uh, all the time. So you have to pause in between. So this guy works okay. I'm happy with my purchase. So yeah, I think uh, that's it. Ciao, guys.